Hi guys, just doing an update, uh, week 5, tiny house on wheels, house truck, whatever you want to call it. Now you can see we've got the side panels on now, so a bit more tidying up to do, and uh, a bit of more painting to do, but the panels are on, which is the main thing, so it's starting to get sealed in. So we also got a bit of work done on the truck, um, I'll probably have to put an example picture up of what it, what it looks like, but um, I've cut off the bit above the cab there, move the exhaust pipe, cut off the back supports for the tipper tray here, taking the sides off so it actually looks quite different now, it's, uh, it looks quite small. Um, but the truck's now ready for the um, actual body to go on. I tried actually lifting it using the tipper tray yesterday but uh, I almost ended up putting it through the side of the house, it kind of all fell and all seemed a little bit dangerous, so I'm going to get a high ab for about 100 bucks to come and lift it up for me. It's uh, it's not worth your life mucking around with things this heavy. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Now you can see there the toolbox air conditioner. I've got to do a bit more painting along there. Uh, I've got to put like like these corner edges to seal it. I've got to put them down there on that bit. Uh, of course that'll all be up on the back of the truck. So I'm loving my rustic boards, I think they came out really well, a nice natural edge, you can see it's all wonky, it's the look I was going for, I uh, managed to pick up the boards for only two bucks a metre off a local guy who had them for a job that didn't use them, got our little lead light in, and our privacy windows in the loft, so that's all done, got to trim out the um, insulations here and there, I've just filled the, oh, put my finger in it, no, I just filled the the um, edges with a foam, an expanding foam, and then that's a silicon over the top. Looks pretty gory at the moment because it's a light colour, but it'll fade up and and uh, if it doesn't uh, fade up quick enough, I'll paint over it a little bit, I think. Um, get that junk off my finger. So that keeps all the air and water out of it and all that kind of thing. So the edges are just so they're sealing up there. They're just two of the planks split, so they're put around each edge. You can see in this section the foam, expanding foam that's in there. And then over the top of that I come in with silicon, so the expanding foam, oh, I touched it again. The expanding foam fills 90% of the hole. It's a lot cheaper than using a lot of silicon. So the back, close the door, take a step back. So that's the back now, or front door, whatever you want to call it. It's actually a back door with our, put the little lamps on. So you can see the, again the boards, Nice and weathery, it's got a little lip over the top, just got to do a little bit of sealing there. Now yeah, the side's a little bit tight on the house, but same deal, so natural weather boards, all that kind of thing. Um, it's a bit of a $5 fix at the moment, but I put a garage door handle on it and lock at the moment. And uh, I'll get something more suitable when I find it. I'm always just combing for the right bits, obviously that does not suit this build at all. Uh, and it'll be gone sooner or later. I've just got to stumble across the right kind of lock. Something that takes my fancy. That's all the foam. All these bits, that was all, uh, fills the gaps and I cut them off with the razor blade. So inside, not much happening yet. Getting a bit of the supports ready for all the cupboards and stuff that go inside. So here you can see all the insulation. Little lead light window and whatnot. Pretty much the same in here. You know, the same cupboards, that kind of thing. Loft, a bit of lining in, but not secured yet. It's all just tacked. Haven't had time to do any of the insides. Not really that interested at the inside at present. More about sealing it up and doing the roof and doing all that part of it. So, as you can see, week five was mainly an outdoor job. And uh, getting the weather boards on, getting it all sealed up. And uh, now I've just got to work out what I seal it with. If I want to make this thing a bit darker uh, when I go to use... Uh, varnishes and stuff like that. Um, I've actually got one, a four litre bucket for free, so I've got little bits to fix. I've got to put an angle across the top where the roof joins the side. Uh, it'll be probably, I don't know what to use yet, because I'm such a tight ass, I'm looking at probably PVC, aluminium angle, so it's sort of like an angle that'll hang over the edge there, um, just to seal in the top. Uh, it's pretty expensive, so it's light and all, but I might just go with PVC because it can all be painted anyway. Yeah, so that's um, update week five, weatherboard's on. I um, didn't lap them, you can see how they're lapped on the side here. 
I didn't lap them on the front because uh, I want the wind to get up and over and so I'll have to seal all these as well um, you can see they actually do flare out there they're kind of concaving a bit from being in the rain and then and having an extreme heat on them so we'll fix that up sooner or later and uh, get the front sealed up as well and uh, yeah like we said the trucks kind of ready so now I just got to get a high ab so that's a rough idea of week five for the uh, little truck house.